Our story begins at a showing of the hit movie Cinderella in Birmingham, Alabama. 13-year-old Lexi Wood and her big brother Nick settled into their seats inside the theater. Sitting right in front of them was Rebecca Boyd and her 12-year-old daughter Ashley. They got a little loud. One was tapping my seat. I guess after a few minutes I turned around and I said, you know girls, we paid for this movie just like you did. But the teens kept right on misbehaving during the entire movie. Lexi, why? We didn't realize how loud we were really being. When the movie was over, mom Rebecca really let Lexi and her siblings have it. Girls, I just want you to know that your actions affect other people around you. I said, you never know what other people are going through. For instance, my husband was just laid off from his job. This is the last movie that I can take my daughter to for a while, and you've ruined that. What, uh, what was your reaction when you heard that? It was embarrassment. When Lexi got home, big brother Nick blurted out what happened, and their mom, Keisha Smith Wood, was simply mortified. It wasn't easy to hear. It's a hard pill to swallow when you hear your children aren't, aren't acting right. But I know that they weren't raised that way, and I knew that it had to be corrected immediately. Keisha decided that she had to locate that mom and apologize. Just one problem, she didn't know her name. So Keisha wrote a letter of apology, which she posted on Facebook. This is a long shot, but I'm looking for a woman that was at Tanny Hill premiere tonight seeing Cinderella at 7 p.m. My son later told me, much to my humiliation and embarrassment, that my girls were rude and obnoxious during the movie. I can assure you that these girls are being strongly dealt with and appropriately punished. This rude, disrespectful, and awful behavior is unacceptable, and they owe you an apology. It was a message that resonated with parents around the world. The mom's apology on Facebook getting lots of buzz. One of those who read it, the mother it was written for. It shows me that there are still good people in the world and that care. For the first time, Lexi is meeting the family she was so bratty to in the movie theater. And Inside Edition was there exclusively. I'm really, really sorry. Thank you. Now the moms share a special bond. It was old-fashioned parenting that we both were utilizing, I think, which is old-fashioned methods. You know, you approach kids that are acting up and you make your kids apologize for bad behavior. The family sat down for lunch at NYY Steak in New York City and friendships are starting to form. I guess you could call it a fairy tale ending.